Samsung's latest all-singing, all-dancing smartphone has been unveiled as the South Koreans challenge Apple on its home turf. New York's Radio City Music Hall was the venue for the first Galaxy S series phone to make its global standalone debut on US soil. It sports a bigger display and unconventional features such as videos pausing when you stop looking at the screen and gesture controls, the wave of a hand to flip between songs and photos. But analysts say these are gimmicks rather than game changers without the wow factor to really worry Apple. Samsung and Apple's iPhone continue to dominate the smartphone world. The South Koreans, with a range of phones, sell most, nearly 216 million last year, for a 30% market share. Apple, with 136 million sold, has 19%. Nokia, HTC and BlackBerry each have less than 5% market share. The launch did little for investors. Samsung shares got no bump from the unveiling. They've been little changed so far this year, while Apple shares have tumbled 20% as disappointing iPhone sales raise fears its dominance may be slipping.